It's good. Shiz Beats back in the building. Um, first video I uploaded in a long time, you know what I'm saying? But just grabbed the MPC Studio. I actually had it for like a week or so. Just working on some new stuff. Getting the hang of it, you know? It's a couple bugs and stuff on it, but pretty solid piece. I'm gonna load up a record that I did. You see I did a couple right here. So I got a couple I'll load up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna load up the Lee Fields drum. Let's pull that up. Alright, here we go. You can see the interface. I know some of you are familiar with the interface, but um it's pretty much a nice piece of gear. I love it. So what we're gonna do is load up the project real fast. Um, actually, I got this sample from a friend who sent me the the YouTube link. I was like, yo, I think you could do something crazy with this. So I sent it over to you. So when when actually she sent me the song, I said, all right, cool. Let me listen to it. So let's pull up the sample. Um, that's one. So... What I'll do is, I'm going to put this on my duet. Duet. Alright. Alright, so. You can see I got the sample spread across the keys, but the actual sample, let's go to the sample edit window. So, we'll go back. So I chopped the sample up, but let's go to the sample editor. Let's find an actual full sample. So that's the sample that I, you know, recorded in off of YouTube um, with the Soundflower app. It sounds pretty good on it. So, if you can see, I'm gonna go to the main. Let's go to the song, actually. I got, I already got it mapped out into a song. So, all right. Let you hear the chops first. This is the chops. <laughs> That's the chops and stuff that I chopped up out of the sample. The sample edit window, you go to the chop feature, it's real cool. But the only bad thing that they didn't import over from the 4000 is the BPM window. And I know pretty sure they're going to have that in there because it's a lot of things that's not in here from the 4000. Actually, when you got tempo changes, it's not in there. Uh, when you got actual measure, yeah. Um, your BPMs, like as far as your, your your time signatures, doesn't change actually with the program. So none of that stuff carries over. But you know we only on 1.3. You know how they keep coming up with updates, so it's going to go up. And I know it's going to get up to where Logic is at. And to be honest, I don't use Logic no more. I'm strictly on the MPC software. Um, pretty much could do everything. I don't have any VSTs loaded up. But I'll pull up another record that I did, and I actually have some, um, you know, the Nexus plug-in, maybe uh, battery and all that. But this is this is basically. Actually, I have battery here, so if you go to here, hit this little plug-in button, battery will pop back up. So this is all my drums. Lex Luger kit that I made downloaded his uh, drum sample so I just put it in battery I did actually did all this in logic so it doesn't map out like on the MPC so I gotta go to like pad bank C but you know when I get some more time I'm gonna make me a whole drum kit 
like a 2013 Shizby's drum kit. But, all right. So what we do is I'm gonna let you hear. Actually, I'm gonna play the whole song. You vibe out to it. Tell me what you think. Leave some comments. And I load up another record that actually that I did on a 4,000, a real, real old record. And let you hear that and then go from there and come back with some more tutorials once I get, you know, some time to dig into the MPC studio. So we'll go to the song. This is the song. the sample um, I got that just it's just not fair part I think that was the hottest part of the record with the chops of the sample but this is the, just not there think that it's just not fair actually will ride out with the whole beat I got that tempo so that's how that easily fit in the record here go another part of the sample I ain't had no use for that but um I think it's hot So if we go this, let's play just the drums. I do is let me pull up another record let's go let's go up let's see what's this one let's load this this actually might be the leaf fields but the other one I just went back and did you know 
um, I saw and did the edits. So, this might be a couple old beats. I could see the old samples and the old uh, programs and stuff. Yeah, this is Lee Fields too, so don't get caught. Now what this is, this is basically a drum beat and I ain't get a chance to finish it with the instruments, but it's basically we got a flood warning. Huh. What I do is I um let you hear the drum, just a drum pattern. I think it's a hot drum pattern. straight you know straight raw beat that somebody just rapping over with no instruments on it just going in on it um so you know that's it um the software they created is a good software the hardware is a perfect hardware everything interchangeable you can access everything from the mp translate right on the screen so you gotta touch the screen but um you know i'm gonna come back with something else load up something else um another song in the near future and stuff that I create but you can see some old records going back in doing better drums and some new records like the Lee Fields record um, which is I think a very good record but you know comment leave some comments share some ideas maybe we can come up with something with that drum loop that I had and you know that's it it's just beats comment thanks <laughs>